Now, let's talk. Y'all want to get spicy. This is something PC guys don't care about. PC guys, when they hear this, go, what is this grown-ass man doing talking about this? That's because you play a PC. You don't understand. Stand to the side. Let us have our console war to ourselves. Shout out all my console players. This is the console war I want to talk about. Because we talked about another era. Okay, we covered that. But this is one we haven't covered. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know the chat. The chat's in the way. Let me, let me get that for you. Let me get that for you. You ain't got to worry. You see that? Between these four beautiful masterpieces, which one do you have? I can tell you right now. The one I would pick, everybody would be like, why, Nick? It makes no sense in this war. You have picked the loser. I'm going to tell you, it was a tough decision for me. But we're going to start this console wars off right. I want everybody out of these four systems, if you were old enough, for all my young bucks, you probably don't know about these. You probably don't. You probably like, what the hell is that purple thing? <laughs> Nobody wants to play that. Sheesh, sheesh. Hold up. Mag oh, Magnus. Magnus, don't do it to me today, Magnus. Hold on. Let me pull up the chat. I got see. Let me see. Let me show y'all Magnus here. Okay. Steam Deck would be all these consoles. I'm going to tell you something, Magnus. Okay. And I, you know what? I love you, Magnus. I love you. Let me start by saying that. Because I always like to say I love people before I just start going in. Magnus, the Steam Deck will fail. It's going to fail like all the other failed projects that Steam released on the side. It's going to fail. It's just going to fail, Magnus. I'm sorry. I I know. They, they, they talked about the Switch, and then you seen the Steam Deck, and you said, oh, look at that power of a man. Oh, gosh. You looked at the, the, the Switch OLED, and you said, huh, the specs on that? That little baby girl compared to this big boy of a man. Sheesh. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you why Steam Deck is not going to even compare to none of these systems. Because every one of these systems here have revolutionized something in gaming. And Steam Deck will not do that. You know why? Because right now there is a handheld where you can install Steam on. And you can also install your games and play on the go. You don't need to have a Steam Deck to do that nowadays. And I think people who buy Steam Decks are typically guys who love PCs. Well, guess what? They're also smart enough to read specs. And they're going to read specs of some other portable handhelds. And they're going to say, I know this is Steam Deck. I know I love Steam. But guess what? This portable handheld is a lot more powerful than the Steam Deck. And it actually has the Steam Deck form factor. I'm going to go with that. And guess what? It runs Windows 11. Windows 11 is not really a pro for me, but, you know, some people. But, Magnus, I will give you one thing. The Steam Deck does have the capability of integrating with Steam the best. That's the one thing it has. It has that. It will be with the leaderboards. It will work with it. I got some Steam games. I would love to play on the Steam Deck. But it's going to be tough in this market. But more power to everybody who loves Steam. Shout out to y'all. I'm going to give y'all three shotguns. Shout out to Magnus. Dead Specimen. I got a couple other Steam Deck lovers. They feel you. I always throw my hate. I'm sorry. Okay? And I'm, it's not even because I love the Nintendo Switch. I just really got to see more. I got to see more. The, the, the specs is one thing. I've seen specs of all types of things. Nah, I need to see more. Okay, so let's talk. My man Sage, hold up. Sage, let me shout you out. Okay, Magnus, I did see you got all three. Shout out to you on that. Four, you probably missed someone, but it's okay. So for me, the choice came down to the PlayStation 2. And it was tough. I actually had to decide between the PlayStation 2 and the Sega Dreamcast. And I know a lot of people probably say, why are you not picking the Xbox or the GameCube, Nick? I'm going to narrow them down for me 
and you guys can give your opinion on it, okay? GameCube, for me, at the time, Nintendo had a big thing about releasing games and not being on the mature side of things. They were always releasing kid-friendly style games. At this time, I was getting older. I didn't know if Nintendo was still swinging that direction, so that swayed me away, uh, away from GameCube immediately from the beginning. So when systems originally were released, I wasn't saying, hey, Ma, can I get a GameCube? I wasn't working, saving my money for a GameCube. It was a PlayStation 2 for me. Mom did buy a shout out, Mom Dukes. Yo, hold up. Mom Dukes. She came through with that Xbox with Halo. The whole fan playing. We get nuts. Shout out, Mom Dukes, for that. But had an Xbox, had a Dreamcast, had a PlayStation. PlayStation 2 holds dear to my heart because it was the first system that I physically modded with a soldering iron and a mod chip. So that's why, for me, it holds a dear place to me. I had a hard drive in it. I was able to back up all my games. At the time, when I first modded it, one of the very popular games was, what do you know, Vice City. I loved it. I played up and down Vice City, loved the soundtrack, loved everything about it. Time Splitters. Where's Time Splitters? Where's Time Splitters? I got to say that because Time Splitter is such a classic. But I was playing Time Splitters, and that's all I played for the longest. Okay? This is where Dreamcast almost won it for me. No one still to this day has been as innovative as the Dreamcast to have the memory card built into the controller with a screen. Nobody has done that. Y'all tell me somebody who has done that. I know we had the Wii U where you can hold the game pad with the screen on it. That's okay. I'm with you. But that's the entire game pad. That's not just a memory card. Do you know some benefits of that? When you're playing games where two people are looking at the screen and anytime you're wanting to pick something and not have the other player see, you can simply use the memory card for that. Dreamcast was the bomb for that. Also for modding, you could just put four games on one disc using image burn and just throw it in the damn Dreamcast and it lit up like a damn, hey, what game do you want to play? No privacy protection or copyright anything. Here, here you go. <laughs> so it was terrible in that respect. You know. Time Splitter, Sage, you already know what's up. You know what's up. Got the GameCube about to install the GC loader. Young G! Tell them. Now, GameCube... Very underrated. And I would say Xbox is not underrated. Everybody knows what Xbox was to the modding scene. Xbox was modded like every which or which way. Xbox was the whore of modding. Okay? Like Xbox said, give it to me in every port. Okay? Took it in every port, was modded in every port. So people know what the Xbox was. We know playing music during your games was very big during this time. And Xbox was the king of that. I've seen many people loading up, you know, 10 20 30 cds of music on their xbox they were also loading you know back then it was like uh west coast riders or something like that you know the low riders and all that people was loading those videos onto their xboxes and just going places you didn't even need the internet got the video and everything already loaded it was just beautiful for Marty. but still didn't hold a place to me playstation 2 grand theft auto 3 vice city these other games and yo and see magnus time splitter yo I i'm telling you a lot of people slept on Time Splitters. One of the best, the best shooters around. And they need to remake it. No, I ain't gonna say remake it. Let me stop. They need to come out with a new one. That is the that's what we say from now on for AAA games. I don't want to hear remake nothing after Grand Theft Auto dropped the ball. We can never say that again. From now on, we say we want to see a new one. OK, when I say I want to see them do Friday again, I don't say I want to do the original Friday and go get, you know, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker now and bring them back and do that shit going to be corny. We need a new Friday. They're mature. They're smart. Now it's their kids out there doing that. See that type of thing. Rock with me. So out of these systems, most people, I think, will probably pick Xbox or PlayStation 2. Those were the kings of this era. Halo, Grand Theft Auto 3. And then for GameCube, you did have games like, um, gosh, how am I blanking out? The Donkey Kong one with the, drum, with the drums, that was a big title. Mario Sunshine, 
um, Luigi's Mansion. Uh, it's a, they had a lot of hits. They had a lot of hits on GameCube. So I don't want to go underrated like GameCube with some sleeper. I think also uh, a, a Zelda title. I forgot which one. But they had a lot of different titles. I just really wasn't on the GameCube back then. I wasn't feeling it. I came with the emulation. Shout out to Young G with the GC loader. You know what I'm saying? That's what we talking about. But we're going to move on. Like I said, I'm not going to be. I want to get to calls. I'm already drinking this uh, shitty peach margarita. And I want to get through these topics so I can talk to y'all and I can get to this Long Island iced tea. 